Good evening, everybody in the World Series. The Cardinals have just lost to the Red Sox 6-1. to one. More in that game in a minute. The high school football playoffs in Iowa started tonight. Let's kick things off with Pekin and Lone Tree. How do you know it was raining cats and dogs? Because there were poodles on the field. Pekin and Black didn't dog a chance. Copeland gets the first down. Watch Petey Club. He gets 20 yards on this play. The big fella keeps his feet moving the entire time. Later, number 32 would seal the deal as he would find the end zone as he takes it outside. He made it look easy. Let's not forget the Panther defense tonight. They were terrific. The entire line falls on the loose ball for the touchdown. You know what? When Pekin got the ball back, they kept their claws on the ball like true Panthers. Copeland goes up the middle to move the chains. Great blocking tonight by the O-line. And Copeland would take it to the outside for six. Great performance by Pekin. They won it 43 to nothing. In other action from Class A, Van Buren lost to BGM Brooklyn 83-6. to Next up, it was undefeated Albia hosting Louisa Muscatine. The Albia fans are as tough as their team. And they really are. If we can get Albia, there they are. They're all decked out in their ponchos. However, the Blue Demons had a devil of the time hanging on to the ball early on in the ball game. Check out the visitors. Blake Kemp, number 10, would take it 46 yards. Nice effort as he takes it to the outside and cuts it back to the other sideline. Hunter Weldon with a great effort to knock him out of bounds. Later on, Austin Bowling would call his own number, and that would make it six to nothing. Albia would answer right back with a running of Alex Scholes. Number 45 would take it 22 yards on the play, and the senior wasn't done as he would find the end zone. That would make it 7-6. to six. Albia would go on to win it tonight, 29-6. to six. In other action from 2A, Davis County lost to Mid Prairie, 36 to eight in Class Three. Oskaloosa had the home field advantage against Centerville. It was Annie Lennox weather tonight. Oskaloosa in maroon. Here comes the run again. It's Andrew Landgrebe running with true emotion. Later in the drive, it's Centerville's Colt Kirby with a great defensive play by number 22. But you can't stop this. Nate Vanderhoosen takes it 40 yards 